Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Blaze Meter Chrome extension and show you step by step how to use it to record JMeter scripts and import them into JMeter. Load testing is crucial for ensuring that the website or application can handle traffic and perform well under heavy load. And JMeter is one of the most popular load testing tools available. So in this video, I will explain how to use BlazeMeter Chrome extension to simplify the process of creating JMeter scripts for load testing. But before diving into details, let's take a quick look at the benefits and drawbacks of using BlazeMeter Chrome extension for recording JMeter scripts. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first, let's set up the BlazeMeter Chrome extension. So once you log into your Chrome Web Store and if you search for the extensions, so let me search for the extension, the BlazeMeter. And here you get the BlazeMeter extension. And since I have already added it, I have added the extension to my browser. And here you can see the BlazeMeter extension and there are multiple options so when we go to the options we can see to enable the debug mode or we can enable the custom server URL or we can even add custom ARD URL and when coming to the other options so we can manage the extensions and we can view permissions so first let's try to record a script using the BlazeMeter let's go back and let me click on it and once you click on it we will get this window so let me again show you so once you click on this button we get this option so let me record a script so which I'm going to name as blaze meter underscore script one so this is going to be our JMeter script. And to start the script, we'll have to click on this Start Recording button. So let me click on this Start Recording and button. And before that, we have other options, like we can run this script using JMeter, or we can even transform or convert this script to a Selenium script or even we can use this as an end user experience monitoring such as JMeter and Selenium. So here we have options to edit. So we can edit as a, edit, edit the script as a JMeter script or we have, even we can edit this as a Selenium script. And then we have options of exporting the script to either JMX. So this option of JMX we get only after we have logged in with BlazeMeter. These other options like the selenium which export the file as .yaml file or the selenium and jmeter exception ex extension with yaml extension so now let's start recording another we in fact we have the other option so we can even use multiple options not only with chrome we can even try with edge even we can try with firefox so blaze meter comes up with multiple options of giving us to try with different browsers it's not limited to browser and in fact this will help us because most of the applications will not work in certain browsers and using this option we are independent of using any browsers and then this is the filter pattern where we can filter any unwanted request um, something like the jmeter provides us or a new load runner where we can filter the unwanted extensions such as J, uh, the JPEG file or any other JS JavaScript files. So this is again an option. And then we have the options of disabling the browser cache. So when we disable the browser cache, so this will be downloading the entire set of values. And in fact, this will even delete the browser cache before we start recording. And then when it comes with wipe service workers, so this will help us to wipe any service workers which are in the application. And in fact, if the application has any AJAX request by choosing this third option of recording AJAX request, 
this will record any ajax requests that are part of the application and then we have update settings before running test so since this by default we do not choose it so i'm just avoiding it and then the option of randomize record third thing time so in case if i want if i do not want to randomize the record thing times i can uncheck it and but if i want to choose it i can just choose it but for now i'm just unchecking it because i do not want to randomize the recorded think time and then we have the option of request to record only top level records or else in case if i want to make any changes i can make any changes to it and then coming back to the other option which is top level request on the following so this option will give me options to choose all the other related or all the other supporting files or requests something like the cookies the css the javascript the images the redirects and the other so for now let's just ignore this we will have another separate video on what will happen if we choose this but for now to give an introduction i'm just choosing only the top level requests and then there is the final additional option which is exporting the exporting the id locators so for now let's go back to the recording so let's start recording and i'm clicking on start recording let's open the application here which is our pet store application so i have opened the pet store application and here you can see this is the very first step and then the second step is going to be sign in and i'm clicking on add step and let's click on sign in so the second step is added and then let's add the third step and that is going to be enter credentials and login and i'm clicking on add step and let's enter the value here so now we have logged in and let's log out of the application and it's going to be sign out and i'm clicking on add step and i'm going to sign out so now we have completed the scripting and let me stop the recording so in case if you want to just pass the recording and you take a break or if you want to check something so you can just pass the recording and there are two options either you can stop or you can pass so for now i'm just stopping the recording and once you stop the recording it will take some time to process so let's give some time for the extension to get it processed and then if we are good to save so let me export this particular script only with the jmx so we are just going to see about how to export this and how to manage the script with the jmeter that is with the jmx option so this is the only domain that we are going to record so in case if there are like multiple network traffic that has been recorded we can automatically uncheck them so now for now i'm just going to choose only this octopuff.com and i'm clicking on save and once you click on save automatically the blaze meter extension will export and will send it to your downloads location so let me copy this script to the bin folder and from there we will connect it through the jmeter so now i have imported the script into the bin folder where i have created a separate folder for this particular script and let's open the jmeter and let's open the jmx folder and this is the folder that we have recorded that the blaze meter script one.jmx let me open the script so these are the default things that will get loaded along with the blaze meter extension script so for example so here we can see the http header manager which will tell us all the other header managers something like which browser did we use and what is the accept content and the user agent and then when it's come to the user defined variable so here we can see the petstore.octopuff.com is stored as a parameter as base url so whenever we go to the script you can just see only the base url underscore one with this particular value as parameterized value so in this case if we want to make any change we can automatically make any changes in here and then moving to the http request default so there are no other inputs to it and then again nothing in the dns cache manager and then the same way for http authorization cookie manager and cache manager so these are something which are coming as default so in case if 
there are something that has got recorded then these are very valuable in bringing or in importing those values to the JMeter. So let's now open the thread group. So here by default we get one user with one ramp up time and with one loop count. So this is a basic, very basic validation setup and then the so first step it's going to be the loading page or the I would say basically the landing page and then it's always advisable to change the name of the transaction because this is not the name this is again the URL that has got recorded so it's always better to rename the HTTP request so once you change the request automatically it gets updated and this is again a HTTPS request with the base URL that we have already saw in the user defined variable with the get request and here is the path so well, let's move on to the second request and let's sign in so let me again copy paste it to the sign in transaction and here we can see it's again the sign on form which I've got loaded and then the third form which is enter credentials and login let's change the name of this request and here we can see the credentials part where the username and password has got recorded so let so this is the order which it has got recorded so let's move this username to the top and make sure it is in the normal way that we have got recorded and every request is absolutely recording so here this is again a post request where we are submitting the record so this is being recorded as post request and then finally the sign out so let's check it so here we have got sign out and then the sign out form and again it's a get request so with that we have completed the scripting so let's do a quick validation and before that let's add the the view results listener view results tree listener so that we can check the script so here i'm doing a quick validation and let me change this to html so that we can see the response data so here this is the landing page And then we have got the sign in page where we entered the credentials and then we have got the enter credentials page where we have entered the user as one so now this page has successfully completed and then they sign out so with that we have successfully created a script using blaze meter we have recorded these simple steps and then we have exported the script as a JMX extension and then we have imported it into Blaze, uh, sorry, the JMeter and then we have validated and everything works fine. So this is another simple way of creating scripts in case you do not even want to worry about setting up your proxy between your browser and to the system and in fact you do not need to worry about using jmeter for recording just go open the browser add the extension record whatever you want the steps and then you can bring it into the jmeter and you can customize it based on your requirements in fact in fact you do not need to worry about exporting or importing the certificate the jmeter certificate because the jmeter certificate most of the times it fails to run if it's it's not valid so in all those scenarios i would recommend using this blaze meter extension and before we uh, sign out let let's me let me tell you what are the advantages of using the blaze meter so the first extension as i told you it's ease of use so the extension is user friendly and easy to use even for non technical users so this is very simple to use and then the speed so the recording scripts with blaze meter chrome extension is a fast process as it automatically captures all the http and https request and then when it comes to the compatibility so the extension works well with chrome browser and can be used across any operating system and again the last advantage is its customization where users can easily customize and edit the recorded scripts to suit their specific load testing requirements so when we click on edit requirement edit the script for the jmx so in fact we can even export it to a json file and to a torus file so when we click on edit we automatically get the options we can edit the values in here so this is even you can view the headers so whatever options you can automatically edit it before we export it to the jmeter 
So these are some of the best options we have. And then when it comes to the drawbacks, so any tool that has some advantages, it automatically has some drawbacks. So when talking about the drawbacks, it has a limited functionality where the extension does not support advanced features like correlation or parameterization, which are required for more complex load testing scenarios. So they can just record the script. It does not have options to do parameterization or correlation. So when it comes to security, recording HTTP or HTTPS traffic could potentially capture sensitive information such as login credentials as we see. We could see the username and password that has got recorded here, right? So the same way it's very sensitive and we should make sure that we are recording only in a secure environment. And finally, the last drawback, which is the limited browser support. So Blaze Meter Chrome extension only works with Chrome browser, which could be a limitation for users who prefer other browsers. So these are some of the advantages and the limitations of using the Blaze Meter Chrome extension. So until I meet you in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Vasanth Mugam and Little's Law.